Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. So, all right, we're in the Make the Cut software, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over uh, three features that may cause some confusion, and we'll let you know when you should use them and what they should do. And those features are the split, layer, and break. Alright, so the first feature we're going to discuss is the split feature. Uh, I already have a tab set up over here, and as you can see, I have a text group right here. I cannot individually move the letters, and I also have a ball with a star in it. Now, when you're using the split feature, every shape that isn't inside the other shape, it becomes its own entity. So first, let's split the text. I'm going to use my magic selection, select the text by drawing a blue box around the text. Then I'm going to right click, go to shape magic, and then split. As you can see I can now move each letter in the text so I can easily move them around and weld them. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the ball and the star. I'll do the same thing, you know, select it, go to shape magic, and go ahead and go down to split. As you can see, uh, it did not work that way. That's because the star and the circle are touching or you can think of it as the circle is protecting the star from the split feature. The next feature we're going to talk about is the layer feature. What the layer feature will do is it will take the background and the foreground and it will give you two layers. So, um, for example, I'm going to just select everything here and make sure that blue dash line is around both my text group and that ball and the star. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to go ahead to shape magic and I'm going to go ahead to layer. As you can see, um, the resulting thing out of this is I can now move this star over, and as well as I can move the inside of these shapes out of here. You know that way, you know you can go ahead and move those move those out of there. So now you are able to do a simple blackout of a text. So that's what the layer feature does. You know, it just separates that background from the foreground and allows you to move or, you know, edit those pieces. Alright, so the next feature we're going to talk about is the break feature, and what better candidate to demonstrate the break feature than Frankie the Cardinal here. What the break feature will do is once we magic select this, uh, this SVG file that we have here and use the break feature, it's going to separate every single little uh, shape and piece in its own little entity. So let's go ahead and show you that real quick. Uh, just like before, we're just going to select everything using that blue magic wand tool, and then we're going to right click, go to shape magic, and break. Now, as you can see, it broke apart each individual piece. I can go ahead and drag out that part. I can go ahead and drag this out, and drag this out. So it's sort of like a combination of split and layer, uh, you know, several different times. Um, so that, that's what that break feature does. Uh, you know, it's also great for if you're wanting to delete a certain piece out of the project. You know, you can just select that piece, hit the delete key, and it's gone. So it's a great way of, of editing things. You know, say you have an image that you didn't want a certain part or piece in there. You can just select it and hit the delete button. So those are those three features. And, uh, of course, you can always use them in combination. For example, I can go ahead and select this and I can right click go ahead and go to shape magic and layer now, as you can see I have a background and foreground I can go ahead and slide that over now I cannot click on these individual pieces yet because I need to do that uh, by using the split feature so I'll go ahead and magic select them go ahead and go to I can go up here to the edit menu shape magic and go ahead and go to split and now I can move those individual pieces you know and reshape them, resize them, and as you can see, uh, I still have this inside uh, his, his shirt chest. And I can either use the break feature or the layer feature. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use the layer feature. And now I can move that F out of there and delete it. So I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial on the break, split, and layer feature in the Make the Cut software. So I'm Rob with ScrappyDude.com and I will see you next time.